Well, Andrew Stanbury, here we are at VFT 2013 in the Sorry. sumptuous setting of the Intercontinental here, yeah. having flown here on the brand new AP30 right. Fiji Airways, which is excellent. Yep. Now, Fiji Airways, or Air Pacific, I love the way they say soon to be Fiji soon Airways, to be Fiji is a major sponsor of this event. It wouldn't right. happen without you because you're the guys or the team that brings everybody here. Yep. But tell me a bit about your involvement. All right, so uh, Air Pacific, as you say, soon to be Fiji Airways. Uh, very proud to be a sponsor of this event. It's a great chance to bring people, show them what Fiji has to offer, but more importantly, it's a chance for individuals to meet up, discuss the key things that are yeah. important to different markets, and bring buyers in to meet sellers, and uh, it's a happy marriage, put it that way. Yeah. I mean, in terms of Air Pacific changing to Fiji Airways, yeah. I mean, that, that doesn't happen, I think, finally until about June, is it? Yeah, sometime in June yeah. we'll be changing from Air Pacific to Fiji Airways. So in terms of the buyers here, you're getting that message across to them at the moment? The good news is most of the people we're speaking to seem to be very well informed already and know where we're at. So mm -hmm. we've done a lot of work to get the story out there, and I think now it's all about anticipation. They've seen the new livery, mm. uh, they're looking forward to that, the aircraft's looking beautiful, so everyone's just now got that sense of anticipation mm. that we're so close that uh, by June sometime we'll be uh, Fiji Airways. Yeah. So in terms of, I know you can't let the, the cat out of the bag or whatever yeah. it is, you know, there's going to be some changes between Air Pacific and Fiji Airways in terms of what you offer and so on. Sure. Where, what areas will they, those changes be in? At the moment what we've been focusing on is the delivery of the A330 aircraft. So what you'll see mm. happen at our place is the 747s get retired progressively through the year. Yeah. The A330s, the first one's being delivered now. We'll get the second one in here next week during May. And uh, by November, we'll have the third A330 in mm -hmm. service. That'll be the big change that people will yeah. see, is the A330 replacing those 747 aircraft. Mm -hmm. Then as we uh, change over from that, we'll see more subtle changes. They're kind of uh, undercover at the moment. Yep. We'll, we'll release those progressively over time. But All right, let me be we'll, leading. We'll start, we'll start to see the soft changes. In I was gonna, they're country. soft changes. So they relate to sort of um, in flight, the food, all that sort of thing? Everything's up for a look. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. Now, in terms of your market position in Australia, you're yeah. recently appointed. I know That's from right. Air New Zealand. That's okay? right. Yeah. So it's very interesting to have somebody from a large organisation like yeah. Air New Zealand coming to a relatively small organisation like sure. Air Fiji yeah. or Fi sorry Fiji Airways in one of its key marketplaces. Yeah. So, what are the key challenges do you see for Fiji yeah. Airways in the marketplace? Well, I, I think it's interesting you should talk about Air New Zealand as a large organisation. To their credit, uh, they never see themselves no. as a large organisation. And uh, Fiji Airways, I think, is, uh, has a similar outlook. We understand our size, but equally we understand our importance to this destination. Mm. So size is not necessarily a challenge for us, rather a strength. Yeah. We are committed 100% to Fiji as a destination, and therefore I think we're prepared to put more into that than maybe others would be. So we take that as a strength. Now, your previous CEO, David Fieger, was David Fieger, yeah. yep. He's left the company now. He has. You have a new interim CEO. Interim CEO, acting CEO, Aubrey Swift. And was. Aubrey comes from Virgin Australia from a little uh, while Yes, ago. and British Airways before that. And okay. most recently, he's been our chief commercial officer for about the last nine months. But that's very interesting as an appointment in terms of a commercial and marketing man yeah. being appointed as your interim CEO. Yeah. Is that interesting in terms of... Uh, it's interesting for me because yeah. he's, uh, he's my boss and all of a sudden he's uh, acting CEO. So his busy job has just got even busier. Yeah. And uh, I guess our job now is just to support him during that time. Andrew, thank you for your time today. Pleasure. And thank you for looking after us on the way to Fiji from uh, Brisbane. It was an awesome flight. Right. And good luck with Fiji Airways in, in June. And I'm sure it's going to be amazing. I mean, the branding is just incredible. Yes. And I think that, you know, I think what's uh, lost on a lot of people as well, how important that branding is in the positioning of Fiji globally. It is. I mean, what it presents to this is a, uh, it's a global flying billboard off the destination. That's a key reason why the Pacific changed to Fiji Airways.